السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to our channel This beautiful month of Ramadan is going so fast already Just running um, Today I want to take you along with me And my sisters are coming for iftar They are very simple They already asked what can we bring I said just yourselves Just three of them Alhamdulillah so i plan to make brown rice with quinoa and bone broth and so on it's going to be very simple and then um, i have some chicken with carrots and spices and then a couple of days ago sabrina made uh, a roast and this is what's left we saved it the sustainable living lifestyle you have to save everything and you have to use it so the oven is on and it's saying just tell yasmin get going so i'll put this uh with the chicken and let that cook for a few hours because i still have some time look at that mashallah there we go Ooh, we gotta put it bismillah <laughs> there this has so many goodness that's why i don't want to throw it let's put it on top there it's like a full gravy subhanallah i made a little mess but that's all good I, at least i can use this it's quite hot but it's all good bismillah there may allah put more baraka and healing and healthy, inshallah, I mean. Put the rice and quinoa together. That's it. I might even let it sit for a minute or, or so. Let that soak for a little bit. Oops. Stay right there, well, there's an always towel right there. So the rice is ready. Let's throw in there some. I have cumin and coriander today. And then cinnamon stick and some cardamom and uh, clove. There, and then let's do some bone broth chicken feet bone broth just a couple of spoons will do that will be okay and remember i'm not going to put my rice salt and all of that because this bone broth has um turmeric and all that good stuff and salt and pepper so that's why there mix that together and that's really it for the rice, except I have some cilantro. I like to add some cilantro, but I'm just gonna just give a little haircut. That's it. Let's close this. There you go. All you have to do is push to the back and rice. That is it. Inshallah, I'll cook and it'll be delicious. Thank you, lady. Instant pot. So right now I'm working on this tray. I have this new cutting board. Sammy gave me a card of home goods last to eat so i never used the uh, card so now i went a while ago and got this nice thick cutting board so i have some oranges and dates every corner that's what i did the four corners and then i was able to find a while ago a few days ago vegan cheese so i had a white one and yellow one so i chopped those and then i have some grapes in the middle and i have here blueberries i have raspberries so for now that's what's looking like and i'm working on another tray my husband gave me this tray a while back so i thought i should bring it out and use it 
these little crackers cookies looking Serena made it out when I went to her house the way she had it so I went to visit Sabrina's house and mashallah she had these set up she made it from einkorn and some of them are sweet and some of them are tasty like crackers you can eat with anything you really want so I was really excited to take few pieces and she was pouring into jars to share it with people. So that was really nice to welcome Ramadan and Eid and so on. So it's really nice to have cookies also for the children to snack throughout the day too. Some of them have these little sprinkles and so on. So that's what they looked like and I wanted to share that with you. So please say mashallah, tabarakallah and let's continue into the video. If you guys want these kind of cookies, let me know. I can ask her to show you guys and and me too, inshallah. So I have few left, so I just set it in this tray and some cheese. So I'm gonna set this tray up with you now. I realized my neighbors can't be here, so I thought I will share some of these with them too. So I'm going to make a dish of grapes, raspberries, some dates for them. That looks cute for them. So that's what it looks like for the neighbors. Just dropping that off later before iftar, inshallah. Or hopefully if she stops by, she can pick it up. This goes to them. So last night after Tarawih, I decided to make this. That's if I can open it <laughs> there. If you like peanut butter, you will really like this. It's bars. So I knew I wanted to make this kind of tray today. So I decided to make this last night, put it in the fridge. It's just the peanut butter, honey and oats, and any seeds that you want. So I thought these bars will be great for energy with the dates too, you know? And I th I'm thinking adding some cucumbers too to the trays because cucumbers are so not with the dates, you know? Also, I realized I have to put my neighbor's tray, some of these too, they will like that too. So, that's it. Get these out they're nice and thick because I just got them out I should let them sit really but I want to get going and do things and I haven't even read my Quran yet so I have to get that I have to relax and read my Quran too so inshallah. these are really nice bars as you can see it just I should let them sit for a little bit. So let's set these.
So I decided the neighbor's dish to change it to this because I won't be able to fit the bars. And they have tasted these bars before, so I know they will like that. So I thought, change the tray, the dish, and uh, would few for them. It seems so crowded, but they're gonna love this. Yep, that's the neighbors. Alhamdulillah. The only thing is left is cucumbers. Yep, cucumbers are so hydrating and so good for the digest digestive system. So we do in Ramadan time dates and cucumbers. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved eating them together. So this is it for my neighbor. She's gonna laugh when she sees this. She just appreciates everything, little things too. So this is gonna be nice to just set it up. I accumulated everything, but that's what it looks like. The Americans, they say, is the thought that matters. So I was thinking of her. So thinking of the person, that's what matters, I guess. So the rest of the cucumbers, we're just gonna put it on the other trays. So let's put these, the last, the last few things will be the cucumbers. All around it. So everybody can grab a piece next to them, you know. The idea is everybody should have something next to them so they are not reaching from the other persons. There. That's the unique thing about being Muslim is you have to think about the other person who's sharing with you because we always eat what's in front of us with the right hand. Bismillah in the name of Allah. These are the tips of the uh, cucumbers and I'm just gonna give those to the little chickens. There, same thing I'm just gonna do. These are so cool and if you are in a hot place and you are fasting, make sure you eat lots of cucumbers. So hydrating and oh, so good for us. There. The rice is making such a noise. We're cooking. There, bismillah. Let's take these to the chickens. It's time to turn some candles on. This one, I probably take, I will take it to the table. And these, I bought it a while ago and I haven't used it. And they are made from uh, these, these wax, <laughs> these. And this little one, it's a candle holder. And I am really excited because it kind of matches a little bit with the wood, you know? So these, well, let's see this way there it's hard with the wax you know let's just cut that that's one thing i like about these wax candles when you breathe your lungs will be good and it's so tall but it's so cute there's no chemicals in them that's what i like about them just it keeps the kitchen a little bit you know refreshed kind of and it doesn't have really a lot of smell so that's the good part just gonna get this one ready and save it for a different day there look in your local co-ops and stuff they have that these kind of candles with no chemicals I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one too. I just love candles, so, well, 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 maybe not. Whoops, my wooden rings in there even, I didn't realize that. Okay, 
let's pick these up I have to clean this one inside before I could do anything clean that out all cleaned up I just took a little butter knife and just kind of cleaned it up put that in there because by the time we eat it'll be dark so it's nice to have some candles there and the house won't smell like a farm <laughs> One of the sisters that's coming just came back from uh, Umrah a few months ago. So she just came back not too long ago. And then I met my other sister, the one who came back from uh, Umrah, said, can we meet? I said, yes. So then the timing didn't work because I was in their town. They live in a town that's an hour away from us. So then she said, well, since we can't meet, the timing didn't work out. She said, I'm leaving a bag for you there. And um, the, for the children, gifts from Umrah. Look at, she put a bunch of dates in bags for us. I can't taste it because we're fasting. <laughs> As you can see, the face of fasting, look at. So we got some dates from Saudi and then she did told me she said I have a few bottles of Zamzam water so we got some Zamzam water and the funniest thing is uh, my children none of them know that they are coming it's a surprise for them and I didn't even open until now I had this weeks now so anyway and then she asked that day Sarah and I were driving together to the town and then she said, well, do you guys like Frankson's? And my husband, you know, I looked at him, I said, Marian is asking, do you like Frankson's? And he's like, so she put a bag and she said, divide it, some for us and some for the masjid. So anyway, only my husband know that the girls are coming. And then she said, please pray with my prayer sheet. So, She's got a few prayers, she's got, Sabrina was here, you know, every night iftar she comes and she said, what's that bag? One night I just didn't answer. I was like, oh, this and that and that <laughs> because I want her to be surprised when her aunties come, you know. So these are prayer sheets. She said, the one in the bag is Sharifa's. The other one, you and the two girls can share it. She said, whichever you guys want to take. She said, it doesn't matter. But the one in the bag has to be Sharifa. She said, and my auntie Sharifa, she called her my Sharifa because I named my Sharifa after my dad's sister, my auntie Sharifa, I say. So anyway, let's see one of them. What it looks like. Oh, these are the ones that has the head. You put... You put it on, and the arms are long for prayer. You all know how I care about the arms. So that opens up when you're doing wudu. 
and this comes on your hijab you just fix it up so that's what that is she said do lots of dua <laughs> i'm like lots of dua yes so so i'm just gonna wrap them up put it out there so when she comes she can hand it to each one of them right so tonight the, the children will be surprised dates some some wine francis mashallah may allah reward her these are my younger younger sisters anyway i need to collect myself and calm down because we have a couple of hours the chicken is going to be in there for a long time as you all know sabina said her whole life of growing up my house she said we cooked baked everything 350 she said 350 mama <laughs> so my chickens well i have time so it's gonna take and when it's, the chickens are organic they take longer time also to bake it so anyway i'm just gonna end the video here rest for quite some time and read my quran the children are gonna set the plates the water because we're not having um i'm thinking i would ask one of the children to make smoothies and that's it no other drinks we're not gonna have or even if we don't do the uh, drinks we probably will do just the water because everybody wants to hydrate and uh, that is it so i'm just gonna end the video here my body is saying just relax everything is okay <laughs> because we're having just simple rice chicken with vegetables and the salad water and the snacks that we fill in everybody we don't over you know go overboard especially in ramadan because now after we eat you clean up and then you go to taraweeh so why exhaust yourself with all these you know kitchen things i feel like i was already in the kitchen two hours it feels like that but anyway <laughs> I'll see you guys next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. If you haven't subscribed though, do so please and give the videos a thumbs up. Assalamu alaikum.